Hi, welcome everyone. My name is Richard Kojote, your model coordinator for the financial accounting three module. Um, I want to assure you that the model is very, very easy. There's nothing complicated about it. Okay, it's all about standards. Standards you already know, which you might have worked through in um, FA1, FA2. Okay, so it's the same thing that we are building upon. Um, we are principally using the the Kaplan ACCA text, financial reporting text. Um, I want to show it to you. So here's a text we are using for the module. I hope you can see it. So this is ACCA financial reporting text that we'll be using. We'll, we'll, we'll principally leverage that one and use it to work through the throughout the the module. Okay. Um, there is also a comparative text. It is more advanced, but it's, it's actually uh, a, a little advanced, not too advanced, okay, of the financial reporting. That is strategic business reporting, but that's a recommended text. But as I said, principally, it's all from the financial reporting text, okay. I also want to show you uh, two other texts, which we'll be using Elliot and Elliot, financial reporting by Elliot and Elliot. Uh, hopefully, you can see. I'm hoping that it's not turned flip the other way around. So this... Elliot and Elliot, which we will be using also the 19th edition by Pearson. And again, we're using the um, International Financial Reporting by Alexander Jorison and his colleagues. Okay, so these are the, the main texts we are using. And, and trust me, if you combine any two of them for this module, you will love it. It's quite easy, straightforward. Nothing so complicated, okay? Nothing is complicated about this. And good enough, the good news is that all the lecturers who are handling this module are competent. They've practiced it over time. They sleep and wake up and teach at will. Okay, any question you throw at them, they are always in a good a pole position to, to explain it to you very easily. Okay, so you'll be fine. You'll be fine. So that's it. Um, so this session is simply to introduce you to the module. I'll be handling the Paisley group. Um, normally, I think we'll meet from on Tuesdays one to three for the first group and three to five for the second group i i'm hoping it to be more interactive not one-sided one thing one secret for you to be able to un enjoy and understand and pass this module easily is practice just practice it every now and then and you realize you you already have one hand on the whole module okay i want to show you the model structure the, introduce you to the model overall Anything I'm saying here is, is already in the model handbook, which I've I have uploaded up online on Moodle, on the Moodle site. If you have any questions, get back to me, get back to your lecturers, um, and we will be sure we'll try to give you this response within, within a reasonable time. Okay. All right. So um, let me share the introduction to the course, to the model. Um, this is the introductory slides. Okay. So there's nothing computational about this. It's all about working through the slide for us to be able to understand what is expected of us and what we will also be delivering. All right. So overall, we, we will be covering more advanced things. Okay. Topics of financial reporting. We're looking at the group accounts. Group accounts will span um, almost four weeks. Okay. Almost four weeks. And trust me, it's very easy, very basic. You will love it. So we're looking at the consolidation process for group accounts. We're looking at intangible assets, IAS 38. We're looking at revenue. Okay, we're looking at impairment of assets, IAS 36. Any special leases, income taxes. And again, we'll be looking at um, IAS 37, which has to do with provisions, contingent liabilities, contingent assets. Okay, and we'll look at IAS 10, which has to do with... Um, events after the reporting period it, it normally features in real life situations if you happen to find yourself in an audit or accounting profession uh, you always find this always popping up and it looks like they are becoming a bit technical as time evolves especially with the contingencies but it, it's quite easy and if you practice it over time you get yourself abreast with the changing trends or with the revised um standards you you always be on top of issues okay all right so 
consolidation will take like half of the module and you understand why so the the model learning outcomes are there for so understand and prepare group accounts with associated consolidation workings how to apply some ifrs standards okay and how to critically appraise selection of ifrs standards and the concepts of groups and how to interpret and analyze financial statement in the context of equity earnings and calculation of distributable profits where ideally this model should also take us into financial statements analysis and, and interpretation okay the ratios okay the ratios so interpretation of financial statements and if you take the textbook you find it in, in, in chapter 22. We can't finish everything. Okay, we cannot finish everything. So I will always ask that you work the extra mile. You study. It's, it's lovely to study accounting. Okay, it's lovely to study accounting. Work the extra mile. Do all that you can. Look out for the other areas. And those of us who will be veering off into the areas of professional exams, ACCA, ICAS, ICA, EW, CIMA, you need them. You need them in real life. Okay, you need them. In the exams you need them wherever you find yourself so what is expected of you attend the live sessions on tuesdays for paisley um, i think lanarkshire is also same tuesday and our colleagues from the other campuses attend all the live sessions i'll do my best to populate the pre-recorded material online a week ahead of the class okay so whatever slides you get this week is actually for the whole of this week so we make sure the slides come out early maybe on a sunday evening or a monday morning so for the whole week you study and then that will be the basis upon which we'll do the subsequent week's tutorial okay all right so take relevant notes during the tutorial during lectures okay i'll try to annotate this the live videos when working so you you understand it read recommended text like i've shown you journals other sources will populate online complete any independent study at the end of each each lecture and work in groups if possible if you have a team member you can study together that would be great okay that would be great but if you want to work independently that's also great just make sure you keep up to speed okay all right so tutorial arrangement like i said we have made it two hours because we realized that in the past one hour wasn't sufficient enough to cover some of the questions all of all of the questions so we've made it two hours feel free listen there's nothing like an odd question or a stupid question ask any question in tutorial i always say there's nothing wrong there's no wrong answer okay yes there are numbers we'll be dealing with who can get a wrong number doesn't mean your answer is wrong okay it means maybe you missed a step somewhere so i'll be engaging all of you i'll ask you to share your answers share the screen um speak out okay so it's a it's a learning environment Come on board those of you who would like to keep your videos on please do so so that we can share the social um, situation okay all right so that's it this where this during the tutorial it is the time where you have to build up your skills in accounting processes nothing is difficult trust me it's very easy and you love it the recommended text i've mentioned i've shown you the acc kaplan text uh, which is valid for those sessions i think it's the latest text okay and then the recommended texts are also the um, IFRS and, and analysis by Alexander um, Jorison and his colleagues. And then Elliot and Elliot and ACC Strategic Business Reporting. And then also there's one text by Oxford University Press, very important textbook. Um, I don't have it on my desk here. And, and you will need it. Okay, you will need it by Jennifer Maynard. Very good one. All right. So that, that's a textbook. I will always recommend that you get a text books at least the acca one there's a discount code for uws students i think you end up getting like 30 or 35 percent discount okay all right so make make good use of it and the discount code has been populated online on on um, moodle so use it okay 20 credits it means you have to do more work okay it means we have 200 hours of work <laughs> it's, it's quite a lot right but you, you can do it okay each Class time will not be more than 36 hours, which means you are going to be working 164 hours. You are doing all the work. I'll do my part with the videos, with the slides, updating it with the current standards and populate it online. That should take approximately, they are saying 36 hours, but I know it goes beyond. Okay, sometimes you see the whole day 
um, 12 hours working on this just to get the quality materials for you. But the actual interactive class times, the live sessions, will not exceed 34 hours, hopefully, but it's, it's not realistic, okay? But we'll, we'll go beyond because sometimes you need to answer to emails and follow up questions and post announcements. So we'll go beyond that, but you need to do more. It tells you that the 164 hours is an average. You may need to do more than that, okay? So read the text, further study, do it, okay? I practice more questions, okay? Prepare those mind maps, process diagrams, okay? Learn more, okay? Practice the exams and, and revise the class test and the exams, okay? So it's all about practice. We work together as a team, that's great. If you want to work alone, that's great. Make sure you manage your time appropriately, okay? Typical weeks independent study, like I said, you study the text, practice more examples, read the relevant accounting standard. You can easily find them online, okay? And if you have enrolled with the IFRS, you get this quite straightforward. You get them, you, you get the, the updated ones. Find and read any professional bodies, um, what any professional bodies or firms have said about the standard, whether it is practical in terms of execution or implementation, any advantages or disadvantages, read them, okay? And always, if possible, read the slides for the following week ahead of time. Okay, we'll try to make sure we get the slides up ahead of time. But if not, don't worry. You have the, the model outline. You have the, the courses, the, the, the subject matter on what, on, on what we'll be doing the subsequent week. So take the book, read it ahead of time. The book is enough. The slide is just a summary, okay? But the book gives you more in-depth understanding it gives you expanded text gives you more examples and illustrations so that is very practical very easy and revise more questions okay learning support we are there to help you okay staff are there to help you and um, you have our email addresses please get in touch if there's a need for us to engage face to face we'll do that we'll do that just send an email to your module lecturer and he will make he or she will make arrangements to meet you okay so we have all the materials online. We'll get it up to you. Um, there are a number of quizzes, practice questions, past papers with solutions. We'll post them online. And then we'll also give you links to other resources that you might find helpful, like the conceptual frameworks, okay? Some standards, some readings, some... you love it. We'll get all of this up for you, okay? So we are there to support you as much as we can. The assessment is usually split into two. The first part is 30% of your overall mark. It's a class test. It's a made up of, I'll show you the component, made up of multiple choice and some narratives, okay? And then we have a two-hour closed book exam worth 70%. So at, at, on the average, if you want to pass at least 35% in each component, weighted average of 40 overall to pass, okay? I find it strange. Um, I find it interesting, not strange, when somebody doesn't get 35 or 40% weighted average to pass. I find it interesting we will do our best to teach you to lecture you to give you all the support and I, I i'm hoping and i believe most of us all of us will pass all of us will pass the one who doesn't want to pass means it's a conscious choice by the person but you all pass you will all pass trust me it's so easy you all pass very easy the handbook gives us a lot of information and guidance on the assessment okay so we'll look at it. Every topic we treat is examinable in the exams, in this module, okay? All right, so like I said, class test is split into two um, multiple choice and then narrative. Estimated that you could use 45 minutes each, okay? Let me go back one step. Remember, we said a two-hour closed book for the exams. Um, if we are doing an online, an online exams, usually we'll be giving some extra time. Last year, we gave students um, two and a half hours. But still, I think students still had challenges with, you know, internet connection and challenges to upload. So I think this time around, we may give you same two and a half hours or three hours. Okay, don't, don't be worried about that. Just all that I'll say is you can use a two hour as a benchmark, but I'm sure you'll be given extra time to upload your work or two to cater for these um, exigencies associated with IT, with the internet connectivity, okay? All right, so you'll be fine, you'll be fine. Any student who is who has a, a disability concern, his, his hours will be adjusted accordingly so that you don't lose anything, you don't lose anything 
in terms of time. Okay. All right. So the class test will be based on the first four weeks, typically on the intangibles and the group accounts. Then you must attempt all. That's what the class test will be. Okay. We'll be treating revenue as part of the first five weeks before we go for the class test, but most likely you your your exams or your class test is, is only centered on the four intangibles and uh, and the group accounts. Okay. So that's what I said about the exams. I've, I've mentioned this. Try to work at your own time. Don't wait till exams time before you start practicing. So the more you practice, the faster you become with the concept that you, easily, you can easily navigate your way on what to add, what to subtract, what to adjust, okay? So please, time management, very important. Work as a team. If you have a team member, it makes a lot of sense. Also must try in the exams, try to understand how to apply these financial reporting standards, okay? And how do you make it relevant? We'll give you a case scenario. Or we'll ask you to critically appraise and you have to be able to to voice it out in writing, okay? We'll practice all of this during the model, so don't be worried. So overall, um, in the exams, out of the 100%, Section A is also purely on group accounts. Group accounts, okay? And it's worth 34 marks. Section B, two questions, you choose one, worth 33%, and then that's question. Section B is usually a mix of numbers, num numerical computation, mechanical accounting, and some written analysis, and Section C, has to do with also two questions answer one more of a more tilted towards the narratives but you get some small calculations here and there to, to guide you okay all right okay so that is it exam technique like i said start working now start practicing okay don't wait till exam time don't spend too much time on one question when it's keeping you waiting don't panic in the exam situation we'll practice we'll talk more about this during the live sessions okay and work at a speed that nobody can question you okay make sure you can finish this in good time um ensure you are able to at least attempt the required three questions at least or the three okay and read your questions carefully before you start attempting some students read and they deviate because the standards can be broad and if you're not careful you may be writing about measurement when we are talking of recognition all right so this is what you have is same thing in the model handbook so in the first week we're looking at introduction to ifrs we'll look at intangible assets in detail and then we'll consider a little introduction to group accounts typically looking at the control and um, fair value goodwill associate just that one but in week two we'll be looking at group accounts again now we'll delve deep again still with a goodwill fair value adjustment reserves and non-controlling interest and then subsequently we proceed with Pop, okay, the provision for unrealized profit in top trade intergroup inter trading, and then we'll look at group income statement, and group disposals, okay, IFRS. In the past, we did we we're not looking at group disposals, but we need to look at it, okay. IFRS um, 15 on revenue, then we'll look at the class test, impairment of assets, EPS, um, leases, taxation, then we'll look at contingencies and events after reporting they don't go for the spring break revision and radio exams you'll be fine okay you'll be fine so unfortunately the spring break after the spring break we may not meet again till you write your exams so don't slack don't slack during the spring break don't go and relax too much and forget everything okay that's it all right we'll see whether we can slot in one meeting for the revision and see you have questions you come on board okay so that we can all share some ideas. So I'm sure we'll meet in the week of uh, 18th April for some revision, all right? So that we can all learn uh, something before we set off. All right, so friends, I'll end it here with the introduction so that I, just to boost your confidence, I want to tell you there's nothing difficult about this. Some universities will not tag it as financial accounting three. Some call it advanced financial reporting some call it advanced accounting it's the same concept we are doing here okay so fa3 is actually advanced financial reporting advanced accounting is a peak of it okay there is the strategic business reporting is just the senior brother of, uh, of of what we are doing in acca okay and if you apply for an exemption you'll be given exemption i think up to um financial reporting then you have to go and justify your 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 inclusion for the strategic business report and that's the reason why we giving you this foundation 
so that when you go into write SBR, it's quite easy, straightforward for you. All right, I'll see you in the next session. Take good care of yourself. Bye for now.